Hey guys, welcome back to the ultimate system design course. Now my promise is that once you watch this 100% free YouTube course, you will never have to buy a system design course in your entire life. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Today, we are talking about an important concept called modularization. System design is all about breaking the big problem statement into smaller pieces or modules and thinking about how they interact with each other. And that's how you design systems from the ground up. In other words, it involves breaking down a complex system into smaller self-contained components or modules. Each module performs a specific task or function and can be developed, tested and maintained separately. The goal of modularization is to enhance the overall efficiency, flexibility and scalability of the system. Now let's talk about the benefits of modularization. It simplifies the design and development process of the software since different modules can be given to different teams to develop. This helps in scaling the teams as well. This allows different teams to simultaneously work on different parts of the product and this enhances parallelization. When you divide a highly complex system into smaller modules, the complexity of the overall system is reduced, making it easier to understand, implement and manage. Modularization also promotes reusability. Once a module is developed and tested, it can easily be used in different systems or projects. This reduces redundancy and saves valuable time and effort in designing and implementing similar functionality. Modularization facilitates code maintenance and troubleshooting since issues can be isolated to specific modules, making it easier to identify and fix problems without affecting the entire system. This reduces interdependence, centralized points of failures and bottlenecks, which are three of the most challenging problems to solve in system design. Modularization enhances system scalability. As the demands and requirements of a system change over time, new modules can be added or the existing ones can be modified without affecting the entire system. This enhances the extensibility of the system. This modular approach allows for more flexibility in adapting to evolving needs and enhancing the system's lifespan. Another benefit of modularization is enhanced system stability. Since modules are designed to be independent and self-contained, Changes or updates in one module are less likely to affect the stability of other modules. This isolation helps in minimizing the impact of errors, reducing the risk of system failures and facilitating easier system upgrades. In the fifth episode, we saw how there are real world inspirations for system design. Well, modularization is itself a very popular concept in manufacturing. And this concept combines standardization that reduces the cost of a product by reducing the complexity and customization that ensures that the right product is created every single time. The main enabler of modularization are standardized interfaces. The interface allows one variant of a module to be interchanged with other modules to meet the required performance levels and adapt to specific applications and or functional needs of the product. You can try to modularize any system and once you've done that, you're left with a modular system that is a group of modules, interfaces and rules that interact with each other to make the entire system work. Modular systems prioritize efficiency, agility and flexibility. Now we will dig down deeper into the concepts of efficiency, flexibility and agility later on in the series, but it's good to get a rundown on what these actually are. Efficiency means making the system more easy to scale and also stable by re-enabling use of modules. Flexibility means that the modules can be quickly swapped if they go down or if there's a better technology available, you can easily replace a module. Agility means that the modules can be changed, upgraded, downgraded or enhanced really fast. Highly modular systems enhance productivity significantly. And this is why this is the first concept that we tackled in our system design course. Because no matter what you're designing, you need to be always focusing on making it more modular. A great way to visualize modularity is independent building blocks that can be placed on top of each other to form an entire system. A modular system is the exact opposite of a monolith where everything is tightly coupled. Now here's another way to visualize modular software. A monolith can be converted into a modular architecture by making the individual components more loosely coupled. This is an advanced concept and we learn about decomposition and decoupling later on in the series. In conclusion, modularization makes it easy to add and maintain smaller components, it makes it easier to understand each module and their purpose. It makes it easier to reuse and refactor modules and leads to better abstraction between modules. And it saves time required to develop, debug, test and deploy a system. I'm sure you're learning quite a lot and enjoying these videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and share this channel far and wide because all of this knowledge is free 
and I'm sure you know somebody who can benefit from this knowledge. Before we dig down deeper into the rabbit hole that is system design, I want to share some intel on how system design interview rounds are actually structured. Because it's not just about preparation, but also how you perform during the system design interview that matters. And this is why in the next video, we will focus on understanding the structure of a system design round. So see you in the next video.